because the Padres just keep turning these guys over. And you know something, Browner? You, you, you say that you're disappointed because this is just another white guy. Listen, um, go back into A.J. Preller's managerial hires from the very beginning. I mean, his first full-time managerial hire was Andy Green. Andy Green was a first-time manager. He was very inexpensive. He wanted that job, and he was controllable. And the next guy that he hired, what was that guy's name uh, from Texas? The, the Jace little, Tingler. Jay, Jace Tingler. Jace Tingler is the exact same guy Andy Green was. Exact same guy. First-time manager, very inexpensive, totally controllable. He, then he got rid of him. Then Bob Melvin, another white guy, a little different from outside the organization, a little bit older, a little more experience, a lot more success. Um, the thought process was at the time that AJ would hand the team over to him, which he didn't do. Uh, we talked to uh, Nick Hundley a couple weeks ago, the assistant general manager down in Texas. In Texas, they hired Bruce Bochy, a comp to Bob Melvin. Um, Melvin not as accomplished with, with rings, but we all know what, what organization he was working for. Um, they handed in, in Texas, they handed the organization over or the team to Bruce Bochy. That did not happen in San Diego. The, the team was not really handed over to Bob Melvin because Correct. AJ continued to meddle. So now you've got one first time manager who's cheap and controllable, another first time manager who's cheap and controllable, another white guy manager, middle aged, more experienced, only lasted two years because that relationship blew up. And now we're into yet another guy, another middle aged white guy, some experience, some decent resume stuff. Um, but but it, it's the same pattern of guy, you know, and three of the, well, I shouldn't say three, three of the four of them were AJ guys. Melvin was not an AJ guy. Three of the four of them are his guys. He chose Andy Green. Jace Tingler was his guy in Texas. And, and now he's got his internal guy in Mike Schultz. He keeps yeah, hiring guy, the same kinds of guys. A guy that was probably desperate to be a manager again, too. A guy that was already in this organization where the biggest, according to all reports that we've been discussing at nauseum, is that the clubhouse was a disaster. So you know what? Let's hire a guy who was part of the clubhouse. That'll work. That'll yes. be great. That's my biggest holdup. It's like you promoted from within when within was, a was in shambles. Mm -hmm. So for, for players for on record, this isn't like just AC and Lynn. This is Musgrove. This is Soto. This is Tatis. This is Machado. This is Bogarts saying it out loud. So when people try and deny that there was a rift in this clubhouse, people being AJ Preller, your players are telling us otherwise. This is why it's not that Mike Schultz is a white guy, but I said that so it could be explained very plain and simple. The truth of what I'm trying to say is the pattern in which he's hired, what you just went down, Scott, that doesn't appear to be resonating with your guys. Now, if you were the Cardinals and you kept hiring this kind of guy, cool, because those are the kind of guys you got. The kind of guys that are leading this team here, that ain't them dudes. Right. But you right. keep hiring the same kind of guy mm -hmm. in hopes that what? Do well, you guys listen, think that this is what I said earlier. Do you guys think it's true? Do you, to me, the the two year deal signified that this is it. This is yeah. AJ's this is last it. Chance. This is this is AJ's last stand. And but, with with but Peter, the two, hold on, hold on. but the two year deal doesn't even help the manager. No, again, no, of course not. No, no, it's no. it's a it's a it's a hindrance to the manager. Yeah, because that's why I said he's yeah, a desperate dude yes. to get back into right. the role. Everything you're saying about a player looking at him and going, "Bro, you got a two year deal." That means that after 50 games, they could fire you and not have to pay you very much money. Like that's you're you're a lame duck before you get started. 